Mason's working on his tractor here, getting his tanks all rigged up. Roller started tillage last night, first stock of the year. busy time in the field here we're excited to partner here with factor easy meals are a big deal in the spring because dad doesn't quite make lunch around here like he does in the winter so we can throw them right in the microwave heat them up in two minutes and tear out of here the factor meals are delivered fresh never frozen right to our door it's heated and heated so Avery's gonna pull it out of the microwave now it's a perfect, easy, nutritious, and delicious meals for us to keep either at the farm or at our house, well stocked in our fridge so we can have something delicious and easy to eat every night when, quite frankly, we don't feel like cooking. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code NACF50 for 50% off your first box plus free wellness shots for life. You get two free wellness shots from a variety of flavors for the entire time that you're an active subscriber. Again, head to factor75.com and use code NICF50 for 50% off your order. Once you finish your meal, it's time for you to get back to the field. Here with Brian from Planet Earth Ag here. We're uh, testing out a new trash breaker consortium that they've got made up here. Uh, we're gonna go spray it on the field at the house and it's supposed to break down the residue out in the field. So they've got a new formulation here. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna do a we're gonna spray 90% of the field and leave one strip unsprayed and kind of see the difference. We'll probably be able to tell this spring when we go out there and till it. You know, you'll be able to see more dirt basically, right? Right, yeah. We're it's about delivering live microbes to the field where they can do their work in the residue, yep. release all the nutrients back into the soil for next year's crop. Yep, and we've done a few tests with it and we've seen some gains, so we're gonna spray it on 40 acres at the house there and because it's it's after we grew some pretty tall corn out there last year. So there's a lot of trash out there. See if we can't get some of that nutrients back into the soil for this crop this year. Right. So yep. it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so that'll Perfect, help out yeah. too. Yep. Moisture and heat. Yep. Yep, so we'll uh, dump her in the sprayer here and give her a go. Mason's working on his tractor here, getting his tanks all rigged up. I think he's got the plumbing pretty much wrapped up. He's got to, I think he's got to put the pump, the transfer pump down in there to transfer it back to the planter. But working on his lights, obviously he's going to tidy it up when it's ready, but pretty sweet. 
So this is the liquid tank that we always had is just this one. So the pump will actually transfer, this is just storage. So electric pump will transfer the fluid from these two tanks under the tractor and back into that tank as he's planting. So basically you're gonna be able to plant one to one ratio between seed and fertil and well it's not even fertilizer it's we just run in liquid insecticide right mm -hmm. so you'll, when you fill up the planter with seed you'll be able to fill it up with liquid and be able to plant like 200 something like 220 acres i think it is yeah so you normally we would have to fill up like twice with liquid every 80 every 80 acres with just liquid which really slows you down so it'll be nice to be able to get her done. But yeah, he's got his lights all rigged up here. Put these ones on. These ones have like a different, why don't you go turn just the amber ones on? And then you can shine these lights out at the end of the planter because that was kind of tough to see before, I think. So there's just solid amber. It's all sorts of different settings. There's solid amber. And this one's the same thing. And then he doesn't have these, these ones wired up yet. These ones will shine super bright because when the hood's behind those tanks, we figure you wouldn't be able to see anything out the front. So that's the operation. But we turned the lights off in the shop so we could check it out. She gonna work? Should. We'll see. Back in the payloader, uh, got the trash breaker sprayed this morning. Hold on, we're, we're losing control. Jesus. All right, back under control. Yeah, I got the trash breaker, the trash breaker sprayed this morning on my field. Uh, it's two o'clock. Told the guys with the haul and sand today that I was stealing the payloader at two to go finish up my tree project. I got to go clean up the burn piles. It's all burned out. Um, we're gonna clean it up get it out of the middle of the field basically and just get shot and then we'll be ready to well not ready to plant but ready for tillage this spring I guess so got that got that to do I'm driving the payloader out to the field right now and uh, Mason's coming in about a half hour to back to our way of scooping up the piles with the, with the skid loader and dumping it in the payloader bucket when they get too small so I'm gonna go out there and start. It's gonna rain tomorrow, which is why we sprayed the trash breaker today. And actually I went and sprayed the wheat. Well, I attempted to spray the wheat today, but yeah, that didn't go as planned. So I didn't get really any footage of that, but uh, yeah, that didn't go so hot. Had my filters plugging up, had stuff leaking. It went just about how the first day of spraying always goes. So that's no fun, but like I said, heading out to the field, I'm getting sidetracked here. Going out to the field, get a, get the field cleaned up and disc shot and finalized. So we're ready for when the tillage crew comes through this spring and ready to plant. started tillage last night first stuck of the year he was out here by Avery's land clearing project up just up the road and he thought he should come down here to the marsh that we got you got a lot on that you got a lot over there but this was too much here he is pulling her out Got the tractor out, so we got a chain hook to the draw bar, out to dry ground. Should come out pretty easy. Came out pretty easy there. 
as long as you don't bury it, it's not too bad. Better go help him unhook. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am back at the grain facility for the day. We, so as you guys know, I work here in the fall during all of harvest, you know, unloading trucks, taking samples, weighing trucks, all the things. But once fall wraps up, I don't have to be at the grain facility anymore. We have other people that are here year round. It's just like during the rush of harvest that I need to be here. But those people are on vacation right now. So I get to be at the grain facility today for a little bit. I'm distracted by Brie. <laughs> um, making sure that the overheads are full for all of the outbound trucks. And then we have somebody actually hauling in some beans from their own bins today, bringing them to us. So just to make sure that I'm here to weigh them in, unload them, get their samples, all the things. I don't know how much I'll film of it just because it's not us hauling beans in. And so I don't know if this person wants to be filmed at all, but that's the process for the day. Come here. Come on. Well, my time back at the grain facility was very short lived because the guy came with half a load, well, a little more than half a load of beans. So going to shut off the pit, let that run to clear out and then shut off the rest of it. And I'm done for my half hour <laughs> revisit at the skill house today. All right, what do I all have to do? Push clutch in, push it to park. All right, that's a CBD, so just, uh, whoa. 